Hello, and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will import data from CRM org to Data Cloud Home org using DataStream. Please note, in this scenario, both Data org and Data Cloud Home org are in the same org, and the objects that will be imported are contact, contact identifier, case, parking space, and parking reservation. Log into the same org and make sure you are in the Data Cloud application. But first, Let's confirm the connection between the Data Cloud Home org and Data org. Go to the Data Cloud setup from the gear icon here. Click Salesforce CRM on the left. You can see that the connection has already been established and we have also installed version 1.2 of the Service Cloud. Now, let us start importing this data. We are going to import data from standard objects like contact and case as well as custom objects that we created. Contact identifier, parking space, and parking reservation. Go to Data Streams. Click New. The source will be Salesforce CRM. Next, we are going to use the bundle that we installed, which is the Service Cloud Bundle. The Service Bundle has three objects, Account, Case, and Contact. We'll use case and contact out of these three. The advantage of using this bundle is that the mapping between the DLO and DMO is already created once you import the data using the Service Cloud Bundle. Click Next. The first object is contact on the left. Scroll down to ensure all the required information from the contact is selected. Next, validate that the API name, label, and header labels are correct. Now, click Case on the left. In this, we have created a custom field called Set Score. Make sure it is selected. Once you verify everything, click Next. By default, Account becomes Stream Category Profile, which is correct. Case is an Engagement Category, and Contact is a Profile Category. Please make sure that you select the correct category because that's going to define everything subsequently. So the categories are correct. Click Deploy. It takes anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes to complete that deployment. The streams are deployed. Out of five objects, we have created data streams for two of them, case and contact. Let us create a stream for the custom objects. Click New. Connected sources will be Salesforce, CRM. Click Next. This time, select All Objects. Here, we need to add the objects. Contact Identifier, Parking Space, and Parking Reservation one by one. So, search for Contact Identifier, select it, and click on Next. The Contact Identifier is of Category Profile. Make sure that it is selected. And here we are going to create a new formula field called Identification Type, which will have a single value identifier. Click on the new formula field. The field label will be Identification Type. Return type is going to be a text. And the value will be Identifier. You can test it. Click on Save. And then click on Next. The data space will be the default data space. Data stream name will be contact underscore identifier underscore C underscore the org ID. Click on deploy. Now go back to the data fields tab. We are going to create a stream for the parking space object. So click new. Select Salesforce CRM. Click next. Select all objects. Search for parking space. Select it and click Next. This is a general list of all the parking spaces that are available and their categorization whether the charging station is available or not. The category is Other. Make sure all the fields are selected. Make sure the data type is correct. Most of these fields will have the data type as text, which is correct except for the date timestamp field, which will have the date time and the data type. Click Next and then click on Deploy. Last object to select will be the parking reservation. Repeat the same steps. 
Again, connected sources will be Salesforce CRM. Click Next. Select All Objects. Look for Parking Reservation. Select Parking Reservation. Click Next. Now, this is an object of type engagement, so select Engagement. Here it is important that you select a correct event time field. Event time field will be the created date in this case, or it can also be the last modified date. We will use the created date, so this is important that the created date field is selected as an event type field. Make sure that all the fields are selected and the data types are correct. Click Next, and then click on Deploy. So, we have created the data stream for five objects. Contact, Case, Contact, Identifier, Parking Space, and Parking Resolution.